crybaby is weighing about five pounds, measuring about 18 inches long, and is about the size of a basketball hoop, which I thought was really, really funny. I use the Ovia app, so if you haven't checked that out, out and you're pregnant, that's definitely the way to go because I love how you can choose between like an animal, um, an object, or a fruit or vegetable. So it's really, really fun to see like what they compare them to. Um, so I guess let's start. This is kind of like a recap all from 23 weeks to now 34 weeks, but it's going to be still a quick video. Not much has changed besides the day-to-day -day pregnancy symptoms. Um, and honestly, I don't really have that many. Um, so my hair is still growing super fast. It doesn't look like it when you look at the length, but when you look at the roots, um, it's growing fairly quickly. As far as the normal symptoms go, um, I have been getting a little nauseous again towards the evening, but I still have not thrown up any, so that's good. Um, I'm having a lot of cravings, and they seem to be more on the sweet side, which y'all know I'm not really a sweets eater. I'm more of like, give me some potatoes and some good hearty salty foods. Um, but recently I've been craving ice cream, um, just my coffee. I've been adding a little bit more sweetener. Um, I've been drinking the red raspberry leaf tea and I've been adding honey to that. Like anything that just adds a little sweetness. Um, I feel Thankfully, like I haven't had any swelling just yet, but with my last pregnancy, um, my swelling came about the last two weeks of pregnancy. Um, I am having an issue with my, um, my hands not swelling at all. Um, I don't know what happened between pre-pregnancy and now. However, I, my ring will come right off and it worries me because even when I'm sleeping and I'm rolling over, I can feel it sliding and I kind of adjust it and I'm just waiting for the day I lose it. But hopefully that day does not come. Um, I have been having issues rolling out of bed um, at night. However, it is a pretty tall bed, so that is nice. Because with our last house when I was pregnant with Kipton, I had to roll over and push up and then push up. Or this, I just kind of roll out until I land on my feet, <laughs> which is quite funny. But I did have a baby shower um, recently and a lot of things were sent to us in the mail and we did get a lot of things um, at my baby shower. One of the things that Cody and I are already using so I don't have to shine my bright um, flashlight is this, um, we got it off of Amazon, we registered for it. It's Vava Boom, or no, it's not Vava Boom. It's Vava Nightlight, and it comes with this uh, little charger. You just plug it in, sit it on your nightstand, and then you sit this on that little charger, but whenever it's not charging, it's uh, cordless. So you just double tap it, and you can't see it, but it is on right now, and here, if you hold it down, it gets brighter, um, and there's yellow, there's, how do I do this? I'm still learning it. I basically only use the, the yellow anyway because I don't really want to wake up totally when I go to the bathroom at night and I'll just walk it in there with me to the restroom and this has been amazing. It does have three different settings though. I'm still learning. Oh, here we go. So that's the white one. Or no, that's the daylight one, I think. Yellow. I thought there's, yeah, there's three. So if you look at it, I think this is the white. This would be the daylight. Hmm. I don't know. I could have sworn there was like a daylight, a uh, blue light, and a yellow light. But I don't know. Anyways, so yeah, you just um, hold it down to brighten and then hold it down again to dim. Um, and then if you just tap the top twice turns off. So I like am obsessed with this little thing already and I know that'll be very convenient whenever we are doing nighttime diaper changes and um, breastfeeding. That'll be awesome to have or just you know if I hear her 
wiggle in, I can tap it on, peek over at her, and then tap it back off. So that has been like a favorite of mine. Um, another favorite of mine that I don't have on hand right now is the belly butter. It's like a, I got it off of Amazon. It's just a natural organic shea butter. And um, that's what I've been using this entire pregnancy. And my stomach just feels amazing. I've had no like itching at all. So I highly recommend that. Um, other than having to still get up and pee throughout the night, um, if not more, um, and rolling off the bed, there's really not much has changed. I'm a little more out of breath recently, um, but I don't know. I feel like there's not, let me see, I wrote down. I'm just going over what I have written down, and I did miss a couple of things. Um, a couple of symptoms I've been having is Braxton Hicks. Y'all know I've been having that for quite some time. Um, recently, they've kind of gotten a lot stronger, and um, one time it was about every two minutes for an hour, um, give or take, and they were wrapping from my back around to my front however that was when we were headed back from Orlando and I was stuck in a car and I wasn't able to empty my bladder lay on my side all the things I normally do when I have Braxton Hicks that um, start kind of getting a little more consistent um, every time I get those the things I normally do I wasn't able to do because I was stuck in the car so that was kind of irritating, but as soon as I got home, I laid down on my side, I emptied my bladder, I drank some water, and did all the things, and they went away. So, that was good. I am going to mention to my doctor how I am having them um, now wrap around my back. However, I don't think it's a sign of labor. I think it's just slowly gearing up for baby. Um, I think my body does it just surely but slowly rather than quickly at the end because I've also been losing bits of my mucus plug um, for quite some time now, like probably the last month um, or so. And I know that that kind of just regenerates itself if you do lose it. So we're good to go on that. And I think the last thing would be, depending on where she's sitting on my um, pelvis, I have these like shoots of pains down my top of my thighs. Sometimes it's when I'm sitting, but mostly it's when I'm walking. It'll almost like knock me over a little bit when I'm walking, like um, get me out of line of my steps. But um, other than that, I think that is all the symptoms I'm having. Last few weeks, I've been gaining about a pound every two to three weeks. My appointments have been every two weeks, so that's kind of how I've been keeping up with that. Um, I am at 143 pounds, so I have gained about 17 pounds so far, and again, I'm 34 weeks pregnant, and I want to say with my son, Kipton, is this is about the time when I started the swelling and I started the major weight gain, hoping that doesn't happen. However, I feel like this is exactly what happened uh, with his pregnancy. I kind of was steady, 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 and then right at those last couple of weeks, um, I just kind of like blew up like a blue, like a beluga whale. Um, so we shall see if I maintain that one to two pounds a week or if I blow up. I guess we will not know until she arrives and I wait myself. <laughs> At my appointment, they did say that um, everything looks good aside from her being breech, um, that my belly was measuring perfect and my weight was great and, um, to just keep on keeping on and we have uh, five weeks and five days left. We are super excited. Kipton is thrilled. He hugs on my belly, loves on my belly, and he talks to Millie. He whispers to her and he sees daddy talking to her a lot saying, um, get your head down, get your head down. So he's been coming up lately and he'll say, Millie, get your head down, get your head down. But speaking of that, at my 29 week appointment, and you've probably seen this in the vlogs, we had, we were told that Millie was breech. They said not to really freak out, it was only 29 weeks. And then of course I freaked out and did all like the stretches and the um, positions and whatnot to flip her. And it worked by the 33 week appointment. Um, wait, my appointment at 31 weeks, 
she was uh, flipped down and we celebrated and we're so happy. And then when I went back to my appointment at 33 weeks, she had flipped again, uh, which they say is pretty common with second babies. Your uterus is just so stretchy that um, they kind of just do their own thing. They have the room to keep flipping back and forth. Um, however, my doctor is hopeful that she will flip again because of um, the amount of fluid. She said it looks great in there and it looks like she shouldn't have any problems. So I'm back to doing the inversions and uh, pelvis tilts and all that to get her to turn back. I'm actually currently sitting on my ball. Anytime I get a chance to sit on the ball, I try to do that. Um, especially just to keep my hips open and encourage her to just swim around as freely as possible and hopefully into optimal position for a natural birth because that's really what we want. Um, I, however, last night and today, right before I filmed this, was feeling hiccups down in my pelvis. So I don't know if I should just trust myself, trust my body and trust like knowing that hiccups lower down means she probably did flip. Um, of course, I'm feeling my belly all day, every day, trying to um, see if I can feel where exactly everything is. But I didn't know she flipped at my 33 week appointment. So I just don't know if I trust myself anymore to like really identify where her body parts are besides her back. That's a very clear situation. Um, but her arms and legs, she's strong in both. So where I thought it was her legs kicking, that's actually where the ultrasound showed it was her hands. Um, and she's just like a little fighter in there. So I think she flipped. Um, and I don't have another appointment for two more weeks. So I don't know, I guess just daily, I'm going to try and feel and see if I should do the stretches or not that day. Um, my next appointment though, I think is my 36 week and then we'll have weekly appointments after that. So at that point we'll talk about um, if she's uh, head down or not. So we'll see. I went ahead and filmed my bump shot. So, I went ahead and filmed my bump shot. So I will go ahead and play that now. I hope you guys can see it. Well, I mean, you can't miss it, but like, I, I hope I'm like close enough for you to see. Big old girl, 34 weeks. We have five weeks and five days left. Whew, and I don't think I'm gonna make it. <laughs> but here, I'll show y'all with clothes on. What normal people see me like. So. There's the bump. It looks massive. Okay, thank you guys for watching and I hope you are subscribed already. If you are not, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell because we will have um, the nursery tour coming out soon, packing our hospital bags, the baby's diaper bag, and um, probably writing out my birth plan. All that is to come, so if you're interested in more um, mama and me and pregnancy videos or pregnancy videos with my husband and my little family then you've come to the right place and we can't wait to share our baby's birth with you thank you for coming along the ride and we'll see you next time bye